Mic check, mic check, mic check. I'm finally on the pod. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, though. Damn. First of all, first of all, PC be hating, yeah. bro. You really get, you really got to fall back on that drum, bro. Don't don't be don't be doing that, game. First of all, I had to go through hoops to even get here. <laughs> I'm blessed to be here though You know what I'm saying I had to yeah. I felt like a fan to get here Oh my was, gosh was, PC ignore the me. most dramatic nigga Of all, of all time <laughs> Welcome back to another episode Of The Trenches the yeah. I'm your host Zaire Franklin Joining me today I have my guest here To my right I got his back He got, I got, he got my front Tim Crossing What's up brother? Ruski, what's happening with what's happening with the guys, man? Y'all good? Just can't be good, man. My dog E J S P. Kid that did. Kid that did. That is. Kid that did. And today we join with by family. Yes, family. Sir. This is family. Hey, family. Look, we gonna get it right into it. New York Giants receiver, Ohio oh. State legend. Ooh, legend. what do you say? What do you say? Uh, uh. Akron, okay. Akron. <laughs> just a kid, just a kid, kid from Akron. Akron. What he wanna be? What he oh, wanna be? Nigga switch up every other day. Here we go. go. Nigga switch up every day. My dog Paris came with PC. What's up, baby? Yes, sir. What's up, man? I appreciate y'all for having me. Man. Always, bro. PC yes, acting like he he got a beat outdoor down. Don't do I that. I did. Nigga. Oh my god. I Nigga did. go to another team and speed, get all the nation. Speed change yeah. phone numbers on me. Look, speed changes his number all the time though. I ain't gonna lie, he really do. That's speed. Z I don't, don't answer the phone. This is I got a, fact, a kid, man. bro. Yeah, that's a fact. I got two. Bro. I know. A fact. You know it, so you know the grind. And I, and I answer first call every time <laughs> I see that's Zaya a fucking lie. Oh my god, niggas be lying. Come niggas love lying, gang. Every time. Niggas love lying. I ain't gonna lie. Speed start balling. He get two phones. This is the thing. Look, this is for all the fans too for the trenches. I have. I no have. say so. <laughs> I have. I have zero say so. Who comes on the pod? Oh now, now, my god! Now this is now Z makes the final decisions Whoa. here. I'm telling y'all that so now. That that is Z makes rat the team. Oh my decisions. god! Rat I don't to have yeah, the, you tripping. That's you rat tip to it right there. Look, I ain't gonna cap. He can't be like, hey, oh, remember on the pot? I'll be like, yeah, that's dope. Now he do consult. I ain't gonna say he don't consult. Yo, but bottom yo, line, you when we, when we crunch it down, totally oh different. Gosh. Tim, Tim. Yo, don't that's bring Tim in. That's, that's first of all, hey, speed. That's the nasty that's, award. That's, that's the bad joint of the week. Let me just start there. That's the, that's that that the bad joint of the week, bro. You ain't, you ain't keeping it, P. But we have never missed though. First of all, I'm gonna get right. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get right in. I'm gonna get right into it though. What's up with your boys from the team up north, bro? I'm right. I'm right. I'm right at you. So don't don't act like we because we ain't even getting to like college football. We waited right for you. So I ain't never duck no smoke. I don't want you to. Okay. I don't want you to. What's up? What's up with y'all? But I'm gonna keep it a stack though. Uh, yeah, the last three years, bro, they've been on us, and it's it's, it's not pleasant. If y'all have seen me in front of that TV, dog, <laughs> dog, sick, sick. He said it's not pleasant. It's not, not pleasant. pleasant. I but know. I ain't gonna fake though. It's, it's even when you leave. No, don't stop. Stop that. Even when, even when you leave, it's a pride thing, bro. Like mm, yeah. when we when we lose that game. Like it's a pride thing. I've been out of school for what five six years, bro, oh, and that loss is still hurt. And now me, I'm 5-0 against them boys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm talking, you're going to pop my shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm 5-0. I just need y'all. Look, look, I just need y'all. Look, he be like, yo, I just need y'all niggas to win. Because I did it. That's crazy. Look. 5-0. I'm 5-0. Yeah. That's so, so anybody pop that shit to me, yeah. I can pop my shit all day. Wait, walk me through that week in school. Walk me through that week. Like, just, just the game week with them. Man, it's tough. Like, as soon as that game before is over. Yeah. Like, like, well, I, when I was in school, Urban Meyer was there. So okay. Urban Meyer, he come in the locker room. You know what I'm saying? More than likely, we won the game before. Urban, you know, Urban was your head shit, coach. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. he come he come in the locker room, and he say no more pads for the rest of the year because the next time we put pads on him is when we hit the team up north. And that's mm. kind of like our thing. That's so everybody get rah. You know what I'm saying? It's just a you know what I'm saying. Dope moment it's after the, the game. Can, yeah. I, can, I, can I say okay, something about okay. that real quick though? Hold on, I'm gonna let you go. But I'll be seeing Urban on the TV, John, bro. <laughs> I ain't got no problem with Urban. Look, look, look. And, and I need I need Peter to co-sign this, bro. I, I low key feel like I'm an Ohio State rebel. I, I fuck with Ohio State. I do. Oh, man. Like those are the guys. Like Speed, those, don't those shake some your of head. my favorite teammates. I fuck. I, I we got teammates on. Yeah, like Ohio okay. State. Okay. I didn't all my fuck favorite with teammates. I got there. I'm gonna say that. Okay. Yeah, like, I ain't I, fuck with Ohio I, like, State. I ain't gonna lie. And I told PC this before too. I always felt like if it was another team, just based off the locker room, like of guys that I knew I would have fit in with. I was like, damn, I could have been in Thanks. that locker room. I could have been on that team. Just because of all the guys, Hook, PC, uh, shit, who I'm, Talu. Is this uh, in comparison to the uh, Michigan State team, myself? 
Uh, oh, Michigan. I mean, oh, Michigan. Oh, you saying Michigan. compare them to? Oh, in, in comparison, in comparison to our Michigan teammates, I would have definitely had more fun at Ohio State. Sure, Ohio sure. State was more yeah. the type of energy that I was on because I felt like they was still turned out. Yeah. Especially when we was in school, because you got to think about it: me, Hook, Shout Ty, we all in school Karen. together. Oh, wow. Ah, you know what I'm saying? We start beef in the room. Yeah, don't, don't Stop do that. starting beef in the room. Sure, I couldn't have been with them. Them Michigan boys are a little too straight laced for me. I, they they, they a little too nice guy out there. Like, you know what I mean? They, they little, know you listening? They a little too, they a little too, uh, they go to the strip club with the Delilah books. <laughs> like, you ever go to a strip club <laughs> and you can't uh, spend real money there? You got to no, buy their money, yeah, money because they don't, the strippers don't like, like, just dollar bills being on them and shit. Yeah. I'm trolling. I'm really got a couple of back room dogs over there. I feel like we could have been friends at least. You know what I'm saying? I don't know yeah. if I could have kicked it with them Michigan boys. Respectfully, I could have did it though. But uh, nah, man. I, look, yeah, bro. Urban been on TV and he be getting this shit off. Because I, I heard him say that on TV. Yeah, I used to just... Like, bro, we, you not in the locker room, nasty man. Like, yeah, but I'm saying though, it's, pri- it's, like, it's prideful, bro. Okay. Like, we all prideful. It don't matter when you was there, how long you was there for. Like, mm. it's a pride thing. And shit, we've been losing the last two years so it's like, Motherfuckers are like, yo, we not used to this. So what's the problem? So what's, what's going on? on? What's the problem? I'm going to keep it a stack. Ooh. I came here to keep it a stack. Oh, okay. You know what I'm oh, saying? shit. <laughs> Alumni. Listen here. Like, everybody there I fuck with heavy. I fuck with heavy. Don't from, hide your from, hand. Don't listen, hide your listen, hand. Listen, Get it off. From, from the top to the bottom, I fuck with them heavy. But for me, watching from my, my TV at home, like the the toughness and the want to, like that shit, is just, it just look different. It don't look the same. Mm. And I know, like, you know what I'm saying? This is no this is no shot at Ryan Day. I know, you know, he went back and forth about the whole toughness thing with uh, the early in the season when they play in Notre Dame. And, like, any anytime uh, somebody questions your toughness, it should rub you the wrong way. Because at the sure. end of the day, we all grown men playing, sure. playing this yeah, game. You know what I'm sure. saying? So it should, it, should question, it should rub you the wrong way. But when I'm at home watching this game, the game, I see them take the field, and it's like they don't got that same juice. They don't got that same passion. They don't got that same energy because mm-hmm. – and I, I don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I can't fix that for them. But I know when I was in school, bro, from day one, like you learn to hate the team up north. Mm. Like regardless mm. of what goes on, regardless of what the record is, these boys can go 0-11. But when they play Michigan, like if y'all win that game, bro, the, y'all lit, y'all you're, turned. You're solid. Y'all yeah. had a great year. Yeah, y'all so, can go 1-11. Wow. So they 11-1. They Exactly, and that's the but the blemish is to them. So that blemish is way worse mm-hmm. than if it was a blemish to somebody else. Like if we would have lost to Notre Dame or Penn State or something, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that 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 blemish is way worse. What's the what's the smoke behind the rivalry though? Is it just that? Oh, it's been go- some bloods and crip shit. Yeah, 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 they, yeah. they, they, they the new motherfuckers <laughs> that got Tukey jumped Woody. in the game. They don't know that this shit really started because <laughs> nah, main man hit this man hoe, and now he really <laughs> mad because yeah. at the end of the day that was really his baby mom. Yeah. Yeah. He had to transfer. Yeah, so he had to transfer. Yeah, yeah, Now he rapping. So yeah, so now don't really know that. They really going back to that. They just came on because you wear these colors. That's how it is. You know how it is. Don't do that. You gang member. Don't do that. Who y'all? Who y'all rival? Who's Syracuse, right? Uh, we oh, are, I mean, shit. Pitt, BC, Pitt, probably Pitt. So I'm saying, like, oh, it's, West, Virginia, West Virginia, too. It's too, but, it's too, that's too loose, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, when people ask me who my bro, rival, don't come on, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's just, I'm saying. Speak, speak, speak. I feel what you're saying, though. Come on. You ain't wrong. Look, these niggas, I will see, like, Michigan niggas and Ohio State niggas in the lot, like, they ain't talking to each other the whole week. Yeah, we on like the same it's squad. Up. Like it's up. They lying not to give had, a nigga a call. I had two, out there. Uh, two of my teammates, my current teammates, went. Uh, you know, I gotta stop saying it to the team up north, and it's beef. It's like a it's, problem. Yeah, like I, I saw them this week, and I'm you like, ain't nah, bumpy that's me a lock. Who did? I'm on all that. <laughs> I'm on all that. I told y'all, bro. Like, <laughs> like I, I take that shit serious though, for yeah, real. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And people, you know, people be like, bro, you been in the league for five years, bro. Like, you don't go there anymore. No nah, like this shit different. I feel like I feel like the way that y'all carry that shit, it'd be like the the replica, like well not replica, but in the same in the same style of like how Duke be. Duke be with Carolina. Yeah, like, yeah. That yeah. shit is a problem. Yeah, you feel like obviously I feel like you feel like that y'all got the best rivalry in sports. Yeah, I always say in that. In sports, yeah, yeah, I used yeah, to go yeah. back and forth with DT all about that all the time. But oh, I was just like, Duke? yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, yeah. bro, it's well, Ohio State played Michigan, like 
everybody's watching that shit. No, I mean, everybody's watching Duke Carolina too, but like everybody's no, locked I'm, in, I'm bro. Tuned, I'm tuned in. I think college basketball is terrible, by the way, but yeah, I'm tuned into the game, man. I ain't going to lie. I, and I, it's I, around I, Thanksgiving. Like, yeah. it's just perfect vibe, nah, perfect time. And, you know what I'm saying? And they said this year, maybe you can kind of talk about that a little bit more because I know we had mentioned it like on the last podcast was like, on the last show was that like this is like the first year like ever that both had been undefeated type mm-hmm. shit. Like what what, what Ooh, was that? Shit. First ever? Yeah. Like this is one of the first times. This is, yeah, this is one of the first times. And uh That's crazy. I think yeah. I think shit, y'all know how they changing the playoffs system next year, how they going to a twelve team playoff. Yeah. Is it twelve I, this year or is no, it? No, it's next year. Is it eight this year? Uh no, it's the same four. It's still four? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. I think this year it was kinda like as a as a fan of, of both teams, it was like, damn, we gotta soak this up because this is one of the only times that both teams are undefeated. And shit, this was for the pie. Like It was a playoff yeah. game. Yeah, really. Because yeah. Michigan obviously is going to the Big Ten Championship now. Yeah. And shit, I just seen the rankings. We're number six now. So we need some shit to, we need chaos to happen. Because, I mean, y'all know how the rankings be. They be kind of, yeah. they be doing people dirty. I mean, we lost to the number three team. And we yeah. fall from two to six. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. So speaking of that, you, you kind of mentioned it a little bit. Though, like People always say like when they leave Indy, like they always just say like it's it's just a difference somewhere else. So, like speak on like positives and negatives, yeah. I would just say, of like the difference between them. Um shoot. First off, shout out to Andy, bro, cause you know what I'm saying, that's the team that drafted me. Sure. Gave me an opportunity from the get go. Um and shit, even when, you know, my career didn't go necessarily the right way, you know, with the injuries and stuff, they still, you know, stood by me. Um, you know, most guys would have been up out of there at the year two. Just being honest, you know, just, that's just how this business works. Seeing how the league is. Yeah, for sure. Um, but no, nah, I mean, bro, it's, it's, it's different because, um, you know, I was at a place, I was at Indy for four years, bro. So I basically knew it like the back of my hand. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that was from, you know, the top, from the staff to the coaches, to the players, to the trainers, to the people in the kitchen, people that clean the hallways, clean yeah. the bathroom, everybody. Yeah. Like, I just yeah. knew them like the back of my hand. So, yeah. um I would say the difference is, you know, when you step into a new environment, it's kind of like you almost got to relearn yourself, like mm. kind of like relearn where I fit in at, like how I'm going, you know, approach the day, how I'm going, you know what I'm saying? Just everything because, you know, as as professional athletes, everything we do is very meticulous. Like mm. where we got stuff at, like what time we eating breakfast, who we sitting with at breakfast, when we going to treatment, like all that stuff. So I kind of had to like figure all that stuff out from the get-go. And it was like, it was kind of like, I'm the I'm the new kid on block. Like I'm I'm back freshman year in college almost. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and then I would also say, uh, kind of speaking from you know the front office aspect, it's like I kind of knew how indies mm, thought. Front, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. knew what yeah. they were thinking. Yeah. How they was going to carry. Yeah, yeah. How they was going to move about me or my teammates or whatever. Like I just and and Z know like just being in the place for so long. It's like. You know exactly what they think. You ain't got to go talk yeah, to them. Yeah, you, you, you know, know, you know the type of motherfucker yeah. they like. You know exactly. Oh yeah, you 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 see the signals and the signs. Like oh, he doing. Yeah, they probably gonna right. draft the nigga. You know, nah, ev- you know everything. Yeah, right. yeah. Okay. And so that's another thing. Being in a new spot, it's like I gotta relearn all, all that shit oh, over again. Yeah. Cause I could do this at practice, and this motherfucker behind me, he watching. And he like, yeah, nah, that ain't it. Yeah. yeah. Whereas yeah. if I'm an in indie and this shit going, I was like, nah, he just, you know, what I'm saying, he give me some time, like. He gonna get it, like whatever. So it's just, it's just those little nuances, bro, to like learning a new place. And um, like I don't have, like I don't have no hard feelings toward Indy, and you know how the shit went down or whatever. But I know, <laughs> I know, like Indy fans, like when I left, it was kind of like people were like, "Damn, like Indy stuck by you for this long, and you just gonna slide." And I'm like, "Bro, y'all don't even know the half." Like I wish I could have responded to everybody on social media, but like, bro, look, this is how it went down. But it's like, I, obviously, I can't do that, but. It's, there's like there's no hate in my heart, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's the business, bro. It is what it is at the end of the day. Like, I know it was a yeah. big deal for you to lead the Midwest, though. When I got to New York, bro, everybody coming up to me like, "Yo, yo, what's good with four four? What's good with four four? I said, "Yo, no. what's up?" I said, "Hold on, hold no, on, P. I'm ready to speak on whatever said, beef you want. Yeah, I'm ready to, what's going I'm ready to on? speak on whatever." I'm like, you want, "Yo, what's, what's the issue?" They're like, "Nah, like when we play, he was just popping his shit." I'm like, "Bro, D, y'all gotta realize." That's Z. Yes. And that's the, mm. you can ask anybody I say, I say, yo, that's Z. Yes. He's going to pop his shit every, every day. single time. Every day. Every single time. Regardless. I'm like, yo, he used to pop his shit to me in practice. Yes. Yeah. That's every just, day. That's just him. But I, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like I had to low-key play mediator and clear the air 
Cause like they really thought it was real. No, beef. don't clear the air. I don't fuck with none of y'all. Now what? <laughs> I just said that. If you got a problem, come holler at me. And I be in New York. And if I ever play y'all niggas, come say something. Come do something. Now what? I did it. I I, I cleared the air. It's PC. Out there. Don't go to PC. If you got a problem with me, come holler at me about it, <laughs> nigga. Now what? Shout out to Hattie. Hey man. Shout, shout out to X. Shout out to Bobby O. Shout out Bobby O. Shout out to the, the rest game. of you niggas. Hey. Come holler at me, nigga. Come holler at me. Hey man. Oh them. They tripping. 